Last episode, I was able to give you my first impression and the unboxing of the Huawei Watch GT2e. It was amazing. I love it at first sight. Uh, the features were great. Uh, the design was great. It fits smoothly on my hands. Right now, I'm going to give you my full review on what this watch can do. Hi, I'm Richmond of Gadget Sidekick. Join me as I unfold the powers of the Huawei Watch GT2e. So this watch has been sitting on my hand for more than a week. I've been training at home, doing some routines, walking up and down the stairs, doing every single activity, and I turned everything on on this watch. So how long did the battery last? It lasted me for eight days. Yes, I know it can last you up to 14 days if you use it normally, but mine, I put it to the extreme. Uh, setting the heart rate monitoring on, setting the stress test on, using it for sleep, for my sleep monitoring, doing, it, doing some exercise, running outside using GPS, of course, it drains a lot, lot of battery. And don't forget, I paired it together with my favorite Huawei FreeBuds 3. These buds can freely connect to my watch as long as I save the songs inside this watch. It has 4GB of storage, of course, that's a lot of songs which I use during my workout routines. So I've been playing my music uh, on my ears and switching left and right to the next song using my watch without the phone. Look how convenient it is. I, I could run freely without the phone attached to my pocket or to my biceps. It's really, really awesome. I don't need to carry extra load. It just feels great. So right now, let me give you my full analysis of this watch. So this watch has been made of stainless steel and you can see it is seamlessly attached to this rubber TPU band, giving you a very, very sporty look. I've been a fan of perforated straps and you can see in my previous video, I've been using it a lot on my other watch. I replace it, uh, I buy custom straps just to replace it. And the reason why I love this perforated straps is because it's more breathable. When I sweat during my workout in the gym, it feels a lot, lot easier. Of course, it's not sticky, it's not leather. Right now, you can see uh, the bezel. There's no markings on it. There's no seconds or minutes on it, making it look like it's bigger. The screen is a 1.39 AMOLED screen with HD display. Taking a look at the time under the bright sunlight is definitely no problem. It is very bright since it's AMOLED. And of course, this watch is coupled with the Huawei's first ever chipset for the watch, the Kirin A1, and it is very, very battery saving. Of course, if you put it to the max, like me, you'd be probably getting less than 14 days. Mine, I scored eight days with everything turned on, with Bluetooth, with GPS and everything. But of course, if you use it normally, you can last up to 14 days. And let me tell you, I was able to charge this watch from seven to 100 in just an hour and 20 minutes. It's really, really fast. There's no problem, just leave it, or you can just put it inside your bag, charge it with a power bag, just leave it. It will charge on its own. Right now, let me tell you some of the great features that I want to tell you that is present on this watch. It has 85 custom workout modes. It includes surfing, it includes skating, it includes rock climbing and other uh, free dancing that you're doing, you can freely modify it on this watch. And of course, there are 15 workout modes that you can use on this watch, including climbing, outdoor walking, outdoor running, cycling, triathlon, indoor running, hiking, elliptical, swimming, rowing machine, open water swimming, indoor walking, trail run, and free training. So those are the 15 modes that you can select 
freely on this watch. Of course, you can uh, activate your uh, GPS uh, to track how much, how far you swam and how, uh, how long you run. It is very, very useful. So there are, of course, some fitness information that you really need to know that is present on this watch, the VO2 max. This is the volume of oxygen that you consume when you're working out. The higher the number it is, it indicates your endurance. So while you're training, you can take a look at your aerobic and anaerobic workout effects right here. And of course, you can check your recovery time. Uh, this refers to the amount of time required to, of course, fully recover from your workout. So one good thing that I like about this watch is that it can automatically detect your exercise. So if you forgot to set it on this watch, as long as you're moving, your heart rate is shooting up, it will, it will start as you move to give you an accurate data of how much calories you burn, how much steps you made. It's really, really awesome. Did you know that there are three colors of this watch? There's the Lava Red, the Graphite Black, and the Mint Green. I have here in my hand the Mint Green, and green was definitely my favorite, as you can see on my shirt. Let me show you some quick videos of my indoor workout right now. Okay guys, we're going to take the Huawei Watch GT2e for a spin of exercise. So we will probably select this one, other. Just fasten your watch tightly. Press this down button. And let's start to burn some calories. So, so since we're at home, quarantine at home, we'll do some uh, exercise like this. Of course, to keep the uh, heart rate up, okay. We're going to do some mountain climbers right now, and it's going to look something like this. Ruffling 16 for all those uh, quick HIIT exercises that I made. So right now I'll be taking this watch for an open water swim as we can see here. So, uh, so okay, so we'll be using GPS. So upon hitting this button, so we'll start. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, based on what we see here, we're starting just to burn our fat. So to end. Okay, that's it. Right now I've connected my watch to my Huawei Health app and we can see here, on the start of the screen, uh, there are everything you want to know. Uh, from my steps, how much minutes I've uh, done my exercise for today, how much calories I've burned, the distance that I've walked for today, and here are some of the records. So, I did try to run outdoors for less than a kilometer because of the quarantine. So I've been checking regularly my SpO2. This refers to the blood oxygen. If you lack blood oxygen, definitely you'll feel fatigue. You'll feel less energy throughout the day. So this one indicates how much oxygen is running inside your blood. Okay, so it's called the blood oxygen saturation. Uh, and here is my heart rate. As you can see, it's pretty normal, except that when I tired out a bit or I push myself a little bit more, it will shoot up. Definitely, 
as I move along. So sleep monitoring, you can see I've been sleeping roughly less than six hours a day because I have a lot of things to do. So for the weight, if I get a chance to connect this to a weighing scale from Huawei, this will definitely change as I step on the weighing scale daily. But hopefully I can get one soon. So my stress level is pretty normal since we're stuck at since we're stuck at home. And yeah, I shouldn't be really stressed about anything right now except uh, doing house chores, doing some light workouts at home. So here's some exercise mode that you can see on your phone. Ex uh, outdoor run, indoor run, walk, cycle, and train. For the training, you can see that there's uh, run or walk prime interval 1, interval 2, and of course there's 5 kilometer training plan and so on. Then the device is connected. Here is uh, the basic stats. The watch is connected to the phone and it indicates the battery. Here are the watch face. You can see there's a lot of watch face that you can take a quick look at. And of course, uh, you can select which one suits your taste. And here's the music. The music right now you can just Simply put the mp3 inside your phone, then upload it using this app to the watch. And you can freely switch left and right, select the song that you like during your workout. And did you know that this, wa uh, this watch can freely connect to any Bluetooth headset or TWS? Mine is the Huawei FreeBuds 3. Let me give you a quick preview of this uh, buds. It is really, really nice. The design is really ergonomic. I really like these buds. Uh, as soon as it touches my ears, I can say that this is made out of premium material. So Huawei has been creating awesome gadgets like this one. And when I work out using these buds, I can say that it hardly can fell out of my ears because of the grip it's really nice and it's really sturdy giving me good sounds while I push myself to the limit so you can you can see I have the red version and this is probably a special edition uh, that I bought it is really really uh, unique I've been seeing a lot of white buds and this one is really awesome it suits my taste and it's very very handy placing inside my pocket based on my experience the sounds is really really great i've been using this to watch uh, youtube to watch netflix and of course to uh, pump my energy during workouts connecting to my phones or to my watch it is a good body to have it's a good Good. Going back to the watch, taking the last slide of the app, you can see my medals here. So how much exercise I've been doing. There's our uh, achievements, weekly, monthly report, and my activities. And you can also put in some of your plans as you push yourself to be more healthier. So giving you some quick look around this watch when I press this bottom up here you can see the workout workout records uh the heart rate spo2 my activity records my sleep stress analysis and it can even give you some breathing exercises music barometer compass notifications weather stopwatch timer and flashlight and where to find your phone so this is currently my favorite watch face uh, it indicates my VO2 max here, it indicates the weather, it indicates my stress level, it indicates uh, the barometer, the altitude, and my battery. And of course inside, there's my heart rate, my stress uh, indicator, the time, the steps, and of course calories burned. I was able to check what's the difference between the GT2 and the GT2e. The main difference is the strap. The GT2 
is a lot lot more professional looking the gt2e is a lot lot more sporty look plus the gt2 has the mic and the speaker they took away on the gt2e but of course the price has dropped a lot do you even use a speaker and mic to talk to somebody on your watch or not hit the comment section below let me know if it's an important feature for you or not but as for me nah i rarely use one i've been pretty satisfied using this watch for the past 10 days it's giving me a lot of stats that i need to know uh, it, gave, uh, it gives me a lot more data about my body and lastly it helps me monitor my sleep properly so do you think that you need a watch like this to help you push yourself more to give you more data about yourself and your body you can grab this watch from huawei concept store for 6990 if you pre-order now you can get a free strap and a free huawei umbrella together with this one so what do you think about the capabilities of this watch is it good is it bad let me know subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future content here at Gadget Psyche. And I'm Richmond. I hope you can stay healthy, know your body more with this Huawei Watch GT2e. See you in my next video. Goodbye.